So when we're doing a buckle block for a patient, what we'll do is I'll have the patient open. Um, now again, we're gonna be retracting a little bit and kind of pulling to the side. And what we see here is, again, we've got our coronoid notch where my thumb is resting. And we wanna insert the needle sort of, I guess, parallel to the occlusal plane, just lateral to these molars. So right over here, you can kind of feel. So you're basically, you're inside of that anterior ridge of the ramus. Um, and a little bit lateral, so almost like bisecting those two. And you're gonna catch that buccal nerve as it's sort of branching down out into the tissues. And again, that's gonna numb everything kind of right down in along that vestibule and along the molars for that uh, buccal gingiva. When we're doing the buccal nerve block, again, we're usually accompanying the inferior alveolar nerve block. A lot of the patient open really wide. We then palpate for the coronoid notch um, pull out laterally until we identify that anterior edge of the ramus. And then again, we're going to be kind of mirroring the occlusal surface of the teeth. Now, one question that people will sometimes have is, or at least I know I had it when I came out of school is, what do you do if the teeth aren't there? Um, now that's an interesting question. Now that, that's why I'm teaching you basically to landmark with your thumb and feel the ramus. So use the ramus as your guide. Um, I found at times in my earlier years, I was sometimes lost back there when you had patients who come in with no molars because, again, you were used to using these teeth as a reference, so going just lateral and just kind of, you know, right posterior. So um, something to think about. So again, with the injection, we're going to be just buckle to these molars. Again, we're going to be between this leading edge and the teeth and following the occlusal plane. So we'll go ahead here and do our insertion back here again a little bit here for the patient often this can be like a little bit of a poke when you do this i find some patients find this more uncomfortable than the actual inferior alveolar nerve block being a little bit we're going to aspirate again things look good rotate pause a little more aspirate again looks good and we'll continue on. So you can put in sometimes 0.6 mils. That would be a recommended amount. Oftentimes I'll do about 0.9 if I'm doing oral surgery back here, um, just to make sure that a patient is very comfortable.